I would like to welcome you to the Rocksteady Boxing Modified Class. Um, we are a division of Comber Physical Therapy here in Williamsburg, Virginia. My name is Coach Chris. I am a certified Rocksteady Boxing Coach and Clinical Exercise Specialist. Uh, let's go ahead and get started today. Also, before that, if you can, go ahead and comment below and let me know where you are watching this from. Um, just so that we can kind of see where everybody is coming from. Today's workout is going to consist of a warm-up. We're going to do some strength training, and then we're going to do some shadow boxing, followed by a cool-down. So, if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to have you sit into the center of your chair. Your feet are going to be about shoulder-width apart, feet flat on the floor. You're going to sit upright, make sure your chest is up, eyes level, on the horizon. We're going to start with our hands right down on our top of our thighs. Let's go ahead and reach up and down. And we're going to reach across with one hand as far as you can and back and across and back and up and down and reach across and back and across and back. One more time, and reach up, and down, reach across, and back, and reach across, and back. And again, let's center ourselves, make sure we're in the middle of our chair, we're sitting nice and tall, feet are flat on the floor, and let's go ahead and warm up that neck a little bit. Let's go ahead and look to the left as far as we can for a slow Count of three. Two. Three. Back center. Over the other side. And one. Two. Three. Back to center. And again to the other side. Two. Three. And back. And one. Two. Three. And center. All right, let's go ahead and look up. And again, for a count of three, one, two, three, back to center, and down. One, two, three, and center. And up. One, two, three, and center, and down. One, two, Three, and center. Go ahead and go ear to shoulder. What I need you to do is you're going to go laterally flex your head. Make sure you bring your ear down towards your shoulder, not your shoulder up. So keep those shoulders down. We're going to do a little longer hold, so count of five. One, two, three, four, and five. Back to center. And other side. One, three, four, Five, back to center, and again, other side. Now I'd like to welcome you guys back to the RSP. This is our first live session, so if there's a few mistakes, you just have to bear with me. This is my first time doing this as well. We miss you guys terribly during this break. Hopefully things will start to return to some normalcy in a few weeks. All right. Next, all right, hamstring stretch. What I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna scoot forward on your chair. You're extending the left leg. You're gonna bring your toe up so it's pointing towards the ceiling. Keep your back straight, chest up, head up, and lean forward. And we're gonna do this for a count of 15. So just by yourself, nice slow count. After the class, I will try to stick around. We're going to do a short little uh, Q&A afterwards. Make sure you also hit the like button when you're done to let us know that you were there and that you saw us. All right, let's go ahead and switch. Other leg, straighten the leg out. Right leg straight, left leg is going to be bent with your foot flat on the floor. The straight leg, toe is going to be pointing up towards the ceiling. Straight back, lean forward, keep your head up and hold for a count of 15.
Likewise, if you have any suggestions for the classes or if you notice anything that you would prefer, any glitches or if it's too soft and you can't hear me, please comment below so that I know so that we can correct it next time. And up. Go ahead and switch. Left leg out again. Chest up. Lean forward. Make sure as you lean forward that you're keeping your back straight. I don't want you curled forward. So head up, chest up. Other leg, foot is flat on the floor. A few more seconds now. And up. One more time with the right leg. Extend the leg straight. Other foot is flat on the floor. Chest up and lean forward. Now for those of you who are just tuning in just to see what uh, is going on here, uh, keep in mind at 1 o'clock today we are going to have our uh, high intensity class. So stay tuned for that. If you're just kind of checking this out and modified isn't usually what you do, we're doing a high intensity later on today. And up. All right. Let's bring our hands out. We're going to give yourself a little bit of hug. And bring your hands way back nice and stretch. Make sure you have enough room so you're not, not knocking anything over. And give yourself a hug. And stretch. And forward hug. And stretch forward. I always like to think of the uh, of a hood ornament, you know, chest up, head out. What's that? Rolls Royce, right? One more hug, and then hands back. All right, hands back on your thighs. Let's reach up, spread those fingers apart, grab something nice and tight, and pull it down. And reach, grab, and pull. And reach, grab, pull. Reach, grab, pull. Reach, grab, pull. Reach, grab, pull, reach, and grab, pull. One more time each side. Reach, grab, pull, and reach. And really stretch up there and grab and pull. And reach forward and across. Grab and pull. Reach forward and across. Grab and pull. I always like to think of pulling in the garden hose after I pulled it all the way across the yard and just pulling it in. Just reach, grab, pull, really reach, splay those fingers apart, tight, tight fist and grab and pull. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and good. All right, let's recenter ourselves. Make sure we're in the center of the chair. Feet are flat on the floor, our chest are up. We're going to start with our hands right here on top of our thighs. So. We're going to keep our chest up. We're going to lean forward. Bring our hands out. Now bring our hands to the floor. Bring our hands up. Bring our hands back. And back to our thighs. And that's one. We are going to do eight of them. So that's one. So forward. Reach your hands out. Down to the floor. Up to the sky. Hands back. Hands to thighs. Two. Hands forward. Hands down to the floor. Hands up. Hands back. Hands to your thighs. Three. Hands forward. Hands to the floor. Hands up. Hands back. Five. Forward. Down. Up. Back. Forward, down, up, and back, last one, and forward, and down, and up, and back, there we go, alright, you may need to scoot a little more forward in your chair, bring your feet a little closer together, we're going to do knee hugs. So, make sure you keep your back straight. You're bringing your knee up, not your chest down. So, bring your knee up, hands interlocked around the knee. Give it a little hug 
and release and switch and just keep going at your own pace bring that knee up exhale out give a hold for a few seconds and release just a nice smooth steady pace whatever is comfortable for you as we go through these movements if there's anything uncomfortable or anything that hurts go ahead and stop I will be giving some modified versions you can always just skip the exercise let me know in the comments below I'll contact you privately and we can discuss some other things that can maybe do to cater to class to bring it to a wider audience all right torso twists what we're going to do again make sure your spine is nice and straight grab the handle of your chair, rotate and twist around, make sure your chest is up, head is up, and hold, three, two, one, back to center, and other side, go ahead and grab the handle of your chair, make sure your back is nice and straight, and twist, and rotate, one, two, three, and back, one more time. To the other side, grab that chair, chest up, rotate your torso, make sure you're nice and tall, and two, three, back, and to the other side for the last time. One, two, and three. Good. All right. Uh, cat and cow. I'm going to turn to the side a little bit for you so it'll show a little better. What we're going to do again, chest up, feet flat on the floor, sitting in the middle of the chair. We're going to start with the cat. So we're going to arch our back out, roll our shoulders forward, kind of look down towards our toes. That will be the cat. And for the cow, we're going to bring our chest up, roll our shoulders back, bring our head up. Flex our back a little bit so there's a little bit of a lower lobotic curve. And then go back to cat. We're going to do this for a series of six times. For each time, we're going to make the sound of the animal. At home, make sure you annoy your neighbors. A nice loud moo and a nice loud meow. So, hands on your hand, sorry, hands on your knees or thighs, and cat. Roll your shoulders forward, arch your back, and meow. And arch your back forward, bring your shoulder blades back, head up, moo, and come forward, meow, and roll back, moo, and forward, meow, and roll back, moo, and forward, meow. And roll back. Move. Last one. And roll forward. Meow. And roll back. Move. All right. Now I know I'm not as good as Jerry for those. I need to work on my meows. But why well, have some time? All right. So now we're done with the warm up. What we're going to be doing is the strength training. Now, as I said, if through any of it, if it causes you pain or discomfort. Go ahead and stop, message me below, and we can go ahead and talk through some other options. Um, we are going to start first with chair dips. From this position, what we're going to be doing is, chest is going to be up, hands are going to be on the handles of your chairs, and with just your arms, on arms only, you're going to lift yourself up, hold for a second in the up phase, and then nice and slowly, bring yourself down. We're going to do a series of 10 reps for three sets. So if you're ready, chest up, head up, and up, down, up, down, up, down. Make sure you do not use your legs up, only your arms down. Keep going, up, down. Up, down, and up, down, and up, 
and down. One more time. I think that's 10. Perfect. That's why I'm not an accountant and I work in physical exercise. All right. Rest for a little bit. I'll turn to the side just so you can kind of see the motion from a side view. Again, make sure you're about in the center of your seat. Chest is up. Head is up. Good posture. Hands are behind you on the handles of your seat. Remember, just use your arms. No legs at this point. And up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. And up. Down. Five more at your own pace. I'm sure you're tired of hearing me count. Perfect. Go ahead and rest. All right. Last set of these. All right, ready? At your own pace, set of 10. Do I go up? Down? About that cadence? Just go ahead and keep going or doing them by yourself. Remember, just to use your arms, no legs. Legs are coming up next. Keep going, almost there. And good. All right, shake out your arms a little bit. Whew. If you haven't done those in a while, it starts to burn a little bit. All right, leg ups or half stands. It's gonna look almost like the same exercise, but whereas with the dips I used only my arms, for this I am gonna use only my legs. What it should look like is you're kind of half standing up. So, feet shoulder width apart. Try to make sure that your feet are directly underneath your knees. Again, everything we do is with good posture, chest up, Head up, hands right here onto the handles, using only your legs and your hands are just guiding you for balance and safety. Kind of a half stand and down. We're going to do a set 10. Half stand, using just your legs. Two, your arms should be pretty tired anyway. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Good. Go ahead and rest. If you want, grab yourself a little bit of water. I didn't say this at the beginning, but always make sure that you have a little bit of water close to you so that you can grab some if you need some. All right. Again, next set. Another set of 10. Make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. Hands onto the handles. Chest up. Remember just to push with your legs only. Your arms are only there to help guide you. Set of 10. Try to make sure that your arms are almost relaxed as you lift up. You want the focus just to be on the lower half of your body. Set 10. And when you're done, just go ahead and rest. We've got one more set to do. I'll turn to the side just so you can kind of see what it looks like from the side. All right, nice deep breath in. And exhale out. Make sure your feet flat on the ground.
feet right underneath the knees, chest up, head up, hands onto the platform or onto the handles, and with the legs only, gentle push and down. Set of ten on your own. It's a nice smooth movement. Make sure you do your best to keep the focus on your legs, but your hands are actually kind of relaxed. You're just keeping them there for a little safety. All right. Flutter kicks. You're going to move all the way to the edge of your seat. Keep your chest up. You're going to lean back. You know, either your back touches the chair or just before it touches the chair. If it's touching the chair, that's a little easier way to do it. It takes the abs a little bit out of it. Still works them, but if you want to make it harder, make sure that your back is only about an inch to an inch and a half away from the chair. Hands on the seat or on the handles, whichever you prefer. Go ahead and bring your legs straight out. Flex your toes up. And for a count of 20, just tight little movement. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Go ahead and bring it down and rest. All right, we're gonna do four rounds of these. Two with our toes pointed, two with our toes flexed. So, back into position. Legs out, point your toes, and count to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and rest. Again, nice deep breath in, exhale out. Hold on to the chair, back straight, lean back, legs straight, toes flexed, and go. So toes pointing towards the ceiling, just keep going. Nice steady pace. That should be about 20. And last one, we're gonna do with our toes flexed, pointing down. So pointing our toes, toes pointed, chest up, leaning back, and go. One, two, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And good. All right. Last strength exercise we are going to do is arm circles. So again, make sure that you have enough room. Feet are going to be flat on the floor. Keep your chest up. Good posture. Arms straight out to the side. We're going to start with our palms down and we're going to do a small little circle. Doesn't matter which direction you're going to go. We're going to go both ways. So keep going. Switch direction. And just keep going. Make sure your chest is up. Head is up. And switch direction again. Small little circles. Make sure you have good posture. And switch. We're just going to do one long set and then we'll be done with it. And good. Go ahead and bring your hands down. All right. Let's go into the shadow boxing. Let's see if we can get a little music going. All right. So what we're going to have you do. There we go. Feet are going to be shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Feet flat on the floor. Keep your chest up. We're going to bring our hands into a good guard position. So that is going to be one hand. By each cheek, go ahead and just kind of bring out your thumb, 
wrap your thumb in to make a tight fist, and that is about how far you want your fist from your face. I'm going to kind of rotate my torso so that one side is a little closer. This will be my lead side. My lead side hand is going to be right by my cheek. My other hand, which is going to be my power side, is going to be a little lower, more by my jaw. The first series we are going to be doing is a punch one and punch two. So punch one is going to be your jab. That is going to be a straight punch out and bring your hand back. Two is your cross and that is going to come across. As you come across, you're going to rotate your shoulder coming across the body, rotating the fist down at the top, or sorry, sorry, down at the full extension and then bring it back. Remember, all your punches are going to start at your cheek and they're going to end at your cheek. So no hands down here, right up here. Let's go ahead and do a quick one, two, one, two, and then we're gonna stop and breathe. Ready, set, and go. One, two, one, two, stop, and breathe. One, two, one, two, stop, and breathe. One, two, one, two, stop, and breathe. One, two, one, two, Stop 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 and breathe. Very good. All right. I think I'm going to do without the timer because I can't visually see it, so I don't know where it's at as far as the stop, start, and rest. So we're just going to go for numbers. Again, bring your hands up, feet flat on the floor, good posture. Take a breath in, exhale out, one, two, one, two, stop and breathe again. And go, one, two, one, two, stop and breathe. 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 One more time. One, two, one, two, stop and breathe. Very good. All right. Shake your arms out a little bit. Take a little bit of a rest. Next one is going to be a three, four, three, four. Those are both your hooks. And with each Hit, you're going to have a nice loud A. Make sure that you utilize your diaphragm. It should come from deep inside. Nice deep sound for your hooks. Again, we're going to start with the hands right by our cheeks. A 3 4 3 4 is going to be bringing your hand out to the side, almost like you're clearing a table. Bring it out and to the side and then back. Again, everything starts from your cheek and ends to your cheek. That is your three. Four is going to be the backhand, and again, coming out the side, hooking around, and then back to your cheek. So, ready, set, with a nice A, go. A, 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 stop, and breathe, and again, A, 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 stop, and breathe, and again, A, 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 A. Stop and breathe. And hey, 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 hey. Stop and breathe. And again, hey, 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 hey. Stop and breathe. Last time, hey, 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 hey. Stop and breathe. Good. Shake your hands out a little bit. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale out. We're going to go through one more count, doing it five times. The hooks with an A. So three, four, three, four with an A after each one. Hands up. And ready, set, and go. A, 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 A. And reset, and breathe. And go. A, 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 A. Reset, and breathe. And go. A, 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 A. Reset. And breathe. And A, 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 A. Reset. And breathe. One more time. And A, 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 A. Reset. And breathe. All right. Shake it out. Make sure that your posture is good. Your hands remain up. 
Then after your punch, you return your hands right up to a good guard position. Let's go for the second set. Ready? Hands up. Get in a good stand, posture, and go. Eight, 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 eight. Set and breathe. Eight, 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 eight. Reset 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 and breathe. Good. All right. Next one is going to be one, two, three, and four. This time we're going to count each pound, each punch out loud as we do them. So, on the edge of your chair, feet flat onto the floor, chest up, hands into a good guard position. I'm going to rotate my chest just slightly so that my lead hand is forward, my back hand and shoulder are slightly back, and one is going to be jab. Two is going to be your cross, three is going to be the hook, and four is going to be the other hook. All right, hands up, and counting out each punch. Ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four, reset. One, two, three, four, reset. One, two, three, four, reset. And one, two, three, four, reset. And one, two, three, four, reset. And one, two, three, four, reset. Last one, one, two, three, four, reset. And break. All right, nice deep breath in and exhale out. So go ahead and turn to the side just so you get a good side view. Feet are going to be flat on the floor, chest up. Hands by your cheeks, rotating my torso just slightly so my lead side is forward, my back side is slightly back. We're going to do the same thing again. One, two, three, four, counting out loud. Ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four, reset, and breathe. One, two, three, four, reset, and breathe. One, two, three, four, reset and breathe. One, two, three, four, reset, and breathe. One, two, three, four, reset, and breathe. One, two, three, four, reset, and breathe. One more time. One, two, three, four, reset, and breathe. Very good. All right. How are you guys doing? Hanging in there? For some of us, this will be the first time we've worked out in a long time since the gym's closed. I'm sweating here. <laughs> All right. Five, six, five, six with a nice A count with each hit. The five and six is a uppercut. So, from your position, good guard position, hands up by your cheeks, about a thumb's width apart from your cheeks. I'm rotating just a little bit so my lead hand is forward. My back hand side is a little farther back. Your five, which is your front hand, you're going to kind of dip down a little bit with that shoulder and almost a scooping motion, you're going to come up and underneath. At the end, your fist should be facing you right in front of your nose. You're going to return it back to your cheek, your six, which is going to be your backhand, you're going to dip that shoulder down and a scooping motion, you're going to kind of come up and underneath and again, the finished part, that fist should be right in front of your nose, in front of your face. From a side point of view, so you can kind of see the scooping motion. From here, drop the shoulder down, kind of come up and underneath, return back to your guard. It's a little difficult to see on this side, but again, you're gonna drop the other shoulder, scoop out and underneath, and then return to guard. All right. Here we go, feet flat on the floor, chest up, hands up, rotate. Five, six, five, six with a nice A each time. And go, A. Eight, eight, eight. Reset. Breathe. Eight, 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 
Hey, reset. Breathe. Last time. Hey, 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 hey. Reset. And breathe. Good. I'm going to do it one more time. I just give you a few seconds to rest. So, and again, make sure feet are flat on the ground. Chest are up. I'll rotate my shoulders just slightly with my lead side forward. Hands by my cheeks, cheek and jawline basically. Five, six, five, six. Those are the uppercuts with an A after each one. Get ready. Set. And go. A, 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 A. Reset. And breathe. A, 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 A. Reset. Breathe. A, 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 A. Reset. And breathe. A, 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 A. Reset. Breathe. Hey, 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 reset, breathe. One more time. Hey, 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 reset, and breathe. Very good. Now we're going to go through one through six. From a seated position, feet are flat, hands up, rotate your chest slightly. One is going to be your jab. That is coming straight out. Bring your hands back. Two is going to be the cross. Rotating your shoulders, bring the other hand across as you come across, bring it back. Three and four are going to be your hooks, coming out to the side, coming out and around. Five and six are going to be your uppercuts, scooping up and underneath. From a side point of view, while you're still resting, just kind of going through them again. One, jab. Two, cross. Three, hook. Three, Hook, five, uppercut, five, six, uppercut. All right. So one through six, and we're going to count out each one. Are you ready? Feet flat, hands up, rotate, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Reset. Make sure your hands return to your cheeks after each punch. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Reset. Breathe. Count nice and loud. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reset. Breathe. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Reset. And breathe. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Reset. And breathe. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Reset. And breathe. Very good. All right. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale out. We're going to do one more set. And then we're going to go into the cool down. All right. Hands up. Good guard position. Rotate your torso just slightly. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Reset. 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 And breathe. Very good. Great job, guys. We're going to go now into the cool down. For the cool down, we're just going to be practicing blocks. So I do my blocks a little bit different than Jerry. Um, so. Uh, mine come from more of a martial arts background, so if we could, we're just going to do a slight variation. We're going to follow along. Again, feet are going to be flat on the floor. About in the middle or in front of the chair. Chest is going to be up. We're going to start with our hands right kind of tucked underneath our armpits a little bit. Chest is up. What I'm going to start first with is a upward block. So to start, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to bring both hands together in front. With my left hand, I'm going to rotate it up, rotating the palm up and facing outward. Notice there's an angle to my hand, so that if something were to hit, it would go this way as opposed to straight down. Alright, so those will be our first ones, just the upward blocks. So bring your hands together, left hand up, right hand comes back underneath the armpit. Bring your hands together and back down. 
Both hands together. Right hand up. Left hand comes underneath the armpit again. Both hands together and back down. Both hands up. Left hand up. Both hands up. Both hands down. Both hands up. Right hand up. Both hands up. Both hands down. Nice deep breaths with each movement. Both hands up. Left hand up. Both hands up. Both hands down. Both hands up. Other hand up. Both hands up, both hands down. All right, next one is gonna be an outward block. That would come from a punch that's coming straight to you. What we're going to be doing, again, is starting in that start position, which is gonna be our hands kind of palms up, elbows tucked right underneath our armpits, chest up, good posture, and a swooping kind of motion. I am gonna come out to the other side of my shoulder, make a fist, and bring it across my body. Lean, ending with my arm, elbow about shoulder height. From a side point of view, my arm is at a right angle. And that is going to be the finish point. I'm going to tuck it back underneath my armpit. Other side, I'm going to bring my hand kind of by my hip, bring it up towards my shoulder, make a fist, and in a swooping motion across the body, it's going to end on the outside of the body right here. Elbow about shoulder height, fist facing you. Arm into right angle. Tuck it back under. And again, reach across towards that hip. Come up towards your shoulder. Make a fist. Sweeping across your body. Ending right outside your body. And tuck it under. And down. Shoulder, make a fist. And bring it across. Make sure your chest is up. Good posture. Feet motion. Tuck your hand underneath. Start by your hip. Bring it up to your chest. Sweep it across. Tuck it under, start by the hip, make a fist, bring it up by your shoulder, and bring it across. Tuck it back under, we'll do it one more time each side. Just nice, smooth, and slow. Tuck it under. Very good. And tuck it under. All right, let's shake our hands out just a little bit. Last one we're going to do for the cool down is going to be a downward block. I'm going to scoot forward just a little more in the chair for this one. So from here, I'm going to have that same starting position. My chest is up. My hands are kind of tucked underneath my armpits. Chest, sorry, chest up, head up. For this one, we are going to be bringing our hand to the opposite shoulder. And in a sweeping motion, we're just going to bring our hand out, ending just outside of the bent knee. We're going to return back to the starting position and then do the other side. Hand is going to come to the opposite shoulder. And a sweeping motion coming across the body, ending to the outside of that knee. And return to the starting position at your own pace. Shoulder, sweep across, return to the beginning position. Shoulder, sweep across, return to beginning position. Boom. nice and smooth. Make sure you end on the outside of your knee. If someone is taking a slow swipe at you, you want to make sure to block it outside of the body. And that is it. Thank you very much for joining me on my first Facebook Live. Um, this was the modified Rocksteady Boxing Chair uh, workout. Uh, I'd like to say thank you guys again for joining me. Make sure that you leave comments and hit the like button uh, so that we know that you are here and uh, you know so that we know we can improve on what we're doing here. Um, thank you very much. You guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay active and we'll see you soon.